This is a ceramic called yttrium barium copper oxide. And not only does it not conduct electricity, it doesn't really behave very interestingly at all to electricity or magnets. It seems dead. But coal does very strange things to this material. If we cool it down, and admittedly, we have to cool it down quite a lot <laughs> to liquid nitrogen temperatures. So that's minus 196 degrees centigrade. It takes a few minutes for the liquid nitrogen to cool it right down. And when it does, the ceramic becomes a superconductor. And it has another trick up its sleeve. Now when I place the magnet over the ceramic, something completely different happens. It seems like the magnet floats on air. What's happening is it's being levitated by the ceramic. The ceramic is repelling the magnetic fields of the magnet. It's absolutely extraordinary. The cold has changed the way the ceramic behaves. It's showing another material miracle that's unique to superconductors. Normally, this ceramic isn't affected at all by a magnet. But when the ceramic is cooled and becomes a superconductor, an external magnetic field makes electrical currents flow within it. These generate their own magnetic field, which repels the external one. And so a ceramic can repel a magnet. This ceramic has now become a superconductor, and that means it can conduct electricity without losing any energy. It can do that when it's cooled to about minus 196 degrees centigrade. That may sound extreme, but it's pretty warm compared to the temperatures you need to make metal superconduct. Since they discovered this, scientists have begun to design ceramics at the atomic level. They added different elements atom by atom in search of their ultimate aim. Superconductors that will work at practical temperatures.